Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a one more topic in C programming that is a get w function and put w functions in a files. So in the files concept in C, so we are having get w function and put w function. So what is this get w and put w? So first one, this is a input function get w is an input function and put w is an output function so what is this input function so it is used to read an integer read an integer from a file so these two functions are used in a files concept so get w is used to read an integer data from a file and this is to write to write an integer write an integer into a file okay this function is used to write the uh, integer into a file so the syntax for this one syntax for this one is get w of file pointer so from this file pointer we'll get the integer value from a file and coming to here the syntax put w integer comma file pointer so it will write this particular integer into this into the file which is associated with this particular file pointer right so get w of file pointer the it will retrieve or it will read the integer from the file which is associated for this particular file pointer right so mainly these are the input and output functions to read and write the integers okay so only for integers integers right reading and writing so this is the syntax and uh, i will demonstrate this one by executing a small program in the compiler so let us move on to the compiler hello friends so just now we have seen the syntax for get w and put w functions which are used to read and write the integer values into a file and from the file now we will see the implementation part so first let us include the standard input and output so uh, hash include stdio.h and then write down the main function and now create a file pointers so we will we'll take one file so we have in our program we will use put w to write the integers into that particular file and once it was completed again we'll read the integers from that file by using the get w function so demonstration of get w and put w so for that we required one file so i'll create a file pointer for one file fp right now what we have to do so we have to uh, open the file so the syntax for opening a file so fp file pointer is equal to f open and give the syntax here so where it, it should be saved right so I, I will save these files in this particular location so i will copy this one and uh, paste here and one thing you just remember if you are using a location in any programming language use a double slashes because the single slash will considered as a escape sequences right so consider this one and uh, here give the file name uh, int file dot c okay dot txt int file dot txt and then we have to open this file with using write mode because uh, the file doesn't exist till now the file doesn't exist so in order to create a new file we have to use uh, or we have to open the file in uh, write mode now we have to enter the values so for that 
uh, we'll use a printf statement output statement so enter integers and and press minus one to exit right and unless you the user press minus one it, it should be keep on reading the numbers so first of all let us read the number one number so percentage d because it's an integer and n right and we need to declare the variable integer n and now so we have to repeat the loop while uh, until the uh, n not equal to minus one n not equal to minus one so what we have to do again we have to read the value so first of all uh, we need to put that means we have to write the value that is a n to the file pointer and keep on reading the values so scan of percentage d ampersand n right then uh, once the user press minus one automatically completed i mean it, it will be terminated right so we'll close the file and fp file pointer f close of fp and return zero now let us save this file and let us execute this one so in file.c so in the desktop uh, we are giving that in in folder files right so this one integer file.c right now let us execute this one so it was executed uh, we have to give the values and uh, minus one is the termination so unless the user press a minus one it should accept the numbers right see one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and it was keep on going whenever user press minus one so it will be terminated it will be terminated now just observe it here so now the file has been generated here see int file.txt int file.txt now we'll read the same file i mean we have to read the same content and we have to print on the screen so for that just open the thing in a read mode now we'll open the thing in a read mode right so same file use a read mode and we have to read the content until end of file until the end of file so so we have to write it on the output screen so for that so elements or integers integers from file are so while sorry so while get w sorry n is equal to get w of the file pointer fp so unless it's not equal to end of file unless not equal to end of file what we have to do we have to write the data okay on the screen so in order to write the data on the screen simply use a printf statement so n value and here we'll use a tab space so that every every integer will be displayed in the same line right so after that just close thing right close off fp return zero right see now in the second case so we are re we are opening the same file in a read mode and uh, we are just reading each and every integer from the given file pointer because fp is a file pointer which is associated to this particular int file.txt and uh, we are reading each and every integer from this uh, file pointer by using the get w method and we have to repeat the statements that means until the n not equal to end of file n n not equal to end of file so 
by reading each and every integer we are just printing that on the screen because we are using printf and instead of printf if you use this put w and uh, another file pointer then automatically uh, reading the content from one file and writing the content to another right so see now i will execute this one so here we have to give the integer values and to exit we have to give minus one so one two three four five and minus one see integer from file are one two three four and five so by using a put w function we are uh, writing the content to the file and by using the get w function we are reading the content from the file right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, put w and get w functions reading the input uh, from the file and writing the i mean reading the integer from the file and writing the integer into the file so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much